A lot of children struggle with number bonds to 10. It's something that we continue to need to teach right through um, until year six. And some children still leave year six with an insecure understanding of bonds to 10. So Numicon might be the key for those children to help them really understand what bonds to 10 mean. So you could start with your Numicon that represents 10. And you can use the stacking or you could use the combining of the Numicon to show bonds to 10. So for example, if I've got three and I stack that on top, what do I need to add to three to make 10? What have I got left? And you can see that there are seven left. If I add seven to three, I make 10. So I might record that on here as well. Seven add three makes 10, it's the same as 10. And again, if I've got seven, what do I add to seven to make 10? I add three. If I've got three, what do I add to make 10? I need seven. So you can show the relationship there as well. Just like when I was talking about bonds to five in a previous video, again, by showing the Numicon together, we can make an early start thinking about algebra and what the equal sign means. So here we've got three add seven, or we've got seven add three, and that is exactly the same in value as 10. They are equal and that's what the equal sign means. It shows that there is a balance. It shows that what's on this side is exactly the same as what's on this side of the equal sign. So continuing from that you can get the children to explore other bonds to 10 by making them themselves and hopefully by repeated use of this children have a much more secure understanding of 10 or they can use the Numicon to help them see and to help them explore what those possibilities are.